Hello everyone! Nice to see you again! And now please welcome back to our Brown English class! And I am your English teacher, so you can call me Teacher Quan. Nice to see you again everyone! Alright students, and today we are going to have fun together with our wonderful story! Oh wow! Are you excited? Yes! Excellent! Then everyone, before we move to our story, oh, we are going to sing and dance together. Now, please stand up, stand up. Let's sing and dance together with our first song that we call Hello, Hello Song. Alright everyone, now let's set up. And then let's count from 1 to 12 
teacher have some questions to ask all of you. Then let's answer the question with part of daily routine. And everyone, the first question that teacher want to know is, how are you? Students, how are you? How are you today? How do you feel everyone? So today, are you angry, student? Are you angry? No, teacher. A uh, great work if you are not angry. Mm, what about this? Are you sleepy? Students, are you sleepy? No, again. No, again. Very nice. And then what about this one? If you are not sleepy, mm, are you happy? Students, are you happy? Yes, teacher. Very nice. So now, let's say with me. This time, you will say, I am happy. Your turn. I am happy. One more time and louder, please. I am happy. Your turn. I am happy. Excellent. All right, now let's move to the next question. And this question that teacher want to know is, listen everyone. How's the weather? Oh, listen to our question one more time. How's the weather? Then it's back to you. Let's say with me. How's the weather? Your turn. How's the weather? Very nice. How's the weather? Tick tock, tick tock. Oh, then look at your side. Oh, look at the window. Now, please tell me, how's the weather today? Let's find out with this one. Look. It's windy. Oh, students, today is it windy. Windy. Is it windy? No, teacher. No, great work. Today is not windy. So now... Let's find out with another one. If it's not windy, what about this? Look. Oh. It's cloudy. And back to you again, students. Today, is it cloudy? Is it cloudy? No, no, it's not. It's not. Great work. Today, it's not cloudy too. And then, let's find out with this one. Look. Oh, it's sunny. Oh, student, can you see the sun over there? Yes. And then today, is it sunny? Is it sunny? Yes, teacher. Yes, great work. Today, it's sunny. Now back to you. Listen and say. It's sunny. Your turn. It's sunny. Very nice, student. And do it again one more time. So, this time, when you say it's sunny, everyone, you have to act like this. Oh, it's sunny. And then, act like this. Now, are you ready? Yes. Let's practice more with this sentence. It's sunny. Now, let's say and act follow me. It's sunny. Your turn. It's sunny. Oh, fantastic. Good on you, everyone. Today is sunny. All right, now it's end up with part of our daily routine. Wow, get back to our screen. And for today, student, we are going to practice with part of phonics. Wow, we are going to practice how to pronounce the sounds of each letters. Are you excited? Yes. All right, now let's move to part of Sounds Box. Sound Box. Oh, and this one we call Sounds Box. And this part, oh, look at the screen. Teacher have two flowers over there. Look at the yellow one here. This one is part of phonics. So we are going to learn how to pronounce the sounds of each letters. After that, we are going to practice how to sing with our phonics chant. Now let's begin with phonics first. Oh wow, look at our screen. This time teacher have two letters over there. 
Look at the pink one. Wow, guess what? What is this? What is this letter? Letter O. Oh yeah, really nice. This one we call letter O. And then another one over there. Oh, the red one here. This one we call letter... Letter U. Letter U. Great work. Then we are going to practice how to pronounce the sounds of these letters. Two of them. Let's focus with letter O first, student. Oh, now teacher have big O and small O. Students, what is the sounds of letter O? How do we pronounce the sounds of this letter? Let's listen carefully. The sounds of letter O is... O, O, O. Oh, then listen. O, O, O. Octopus. O, 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 ox. O, 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 October. Oh, and this part we are going to practice with later. O. Say with me. O, your turn. O. Excellent. Let's forget with the big one over there. That's what we call. Say with me. Big O, your turn. Big O. Or in another way, we can call this one uppercase O. And then big O is followed by the pink one here. So this one we call, say with me again. Small O, your turn. Small O. Excellent. So small O, in another way, we can call it lowercase O. All right. Then, oh, look at the screen. This part, teacher have three words over there. So, three of them, they have the same beginning sounds of letter O. Alright, now we are going to practice with our words one by one. Let's focus with this one. Oh, look at this animal. Guess what? What is it? Octopus. Octopus. Very nice. Then listen to this word. Still then. And this word we call... O. O. Octopus. Oh, student, now back to you. Say with me. O. O. Octopus. Your turn. O. O. Octopus. Very nice. And next then, let's spell our word octopus. So, so octopus is begin with letter. Say with me. O. O. C. C. T. T. O. O. P. P. U. U. H. S. Octopus. Your turn. Octopus. Very nice. This one we call octopus. And then, oh, look at the next one over there. Guess what? What is it? Ox. Ox. Very nice. Then listen carefully. This word we call. O. O. Ox. Say with me. O. O. Ox. Your turn. O. O. Ox. Then let's spell our word. So, ox is half later. Say with me. O. O. X. X. Ox. Your turn. Ox. Great word. This one we call ox. Then, oh, move to the, this one. This one is our calendar. And our calendar is for, listen. O. O. October. Oh, now repeat after me. O. O. October. Your turn. O. O. October. Yes, this one is October. Wow, who was born in October? Show me your hand. Great work. And then let's spell out the word student. So, October is begin with letter O. O. C. C. T. T. O. O. B. B. E. E. e R. R. October. Your turn. October. Very nice. This one we call October. And then student. The sounds of letter O is... Listen. O. O. Repeat after me. O. O. Your turn. O. O. Yes. So letter O. O sounds O. Alright. Now we have practice with part of letter O already. Keep reminded how to pronounce the sounds of each letter. 
Then let's move to the next one. Oh, the red one over there. That we call little you. So the sounds of little you is. Listen carefully. Uh, uh, you. Listen. You. Uh, uh, uh. You. Uh, uh. Uncle. You. Uh, uh. Umbrella. All right, and this part we are going to practice with later. You. Say with me. You. Your turn. You. Excellent. These letters we call letter U. Then let's forget with the big one over there. This one we call. Say with me. Big U. Your turn. Big U. Great work. And in another way, you can call this one uppercase U too. And it's followed by this one. So this letter we call small U. Your turn. Small U. And yeah, part of small U too. We can call it lowercase U. And then still then, the sounds of letter U is listen. Uh, uh. Now say with me. Uh, uh, you. Your turn. Uh, uh, you. Great work. Do it again one more time. Uh, uh. Say with me again. Uh, uh, you. Your turn. Uh, uh, you. Very nice. Then this part, we are going to practice more with our words. So now, teacher have three words. And three of them have the same beginning sounds of letter U. Let's look at this one. So this word we call uh uh up. Say it with me. Uh uh up. Your turn. Uh uh up. Great work. So let's spell our word. Up is begin with letter U. U P P. Up. Your turn. Up. Very nice. This one we call out. Go up there. And then, oh, look at the man over there. So our word is... Uh, uh, uncle. Say with me. Uh, uh, uncle. Your turn. Uh, uh, uncle. Great word. Then let's spell our word. Uncle is begin with letter U. U. N. N. C. C. L. L. E. E. Uncle. Your turn. Uncle. Uncle. Great work. Then I'll move to the next one over there. Guess what? What is it? Umbrella. Yes, this one we call umbrella. Excellent. Then let's practice with this word. Listen. Uh, uh, umbrella. Now say it with me, everyone. Uh, uh, umbrella. Your turn. Uh, uh, umbrella. Very nice. So now let's spell our word. And umbrella is begin with letter U. U. M. M. B. B. R. R. E. E. L. 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 L A. A. Umbrella. Your turn. Umbrella. Great work. This one we call umbrella. All right. Before we move to the next part, student, let's practice how to pronounce the sounds of letter U one more time. And the sounds of letter U is. Uh, uh. Repeat after me. Uh, uh, you. Your turn. Uh, uh, you. Great work. So you sounds uh, uh. Very nice, everyone. All right, now we have practice with part of letter U already. Oh, wow. It's enough with part of phonics. So before we move to our phonics chant, everyone, can you remember what is the sound of letter O? O sound. O, O. Excellent. O sounds. O, O. All right, what about Another one, letter U. What is the sound of letter U? U sounds, uh, uh. Very nice, U sounds, uh, uh. Great work, student. Don't forget to practice how to pronounce the sounds 
of letter O and letter U. All right, now we are going to part of phonic chant. So this time we are going to listen with our chant. After that, we are going to practice how to sing with our chant. Are you ready, everyone? Yes. Let's listen first. I'll listen carefully. Now sing follow me again. Um 
go an umbrella. Your turn. Uncle and umbrella. Umbrella and uncle. Your turn. Umbrella and uncle. Wow, very nice. So now we move to our last section. So this part, let's make the sounds of little you for six times again. Japan. Oh, this one is. Student, look at the small one. 
And this practice we are going to color record Japan. Say with me, Japan. Your turn. Japan. Excellent. Then the national flag of Japan. We have the black cow in the white. White. Oh, now it's white already. And what about the round one over there? What color is it? Red. It's red. Now back to our. Let's find out red. Oh, red is over there. And then color it in this one. Wow. Is this for Japan? Yes. Yes, very nice. All right, now move to the next French. country. Wow, this part we are going to color the flags of France. France, student, repeat after me. France. France, your turn. France. Oh, France, yes. This flag we have three stripes over there. Let's look at the first one. Oh, it would be what is this color? Dark blue. Yes, dark blue. Now let's color it dark blue. Oh, and then it's followed by what color is it? White. White. And now it's white already. And then the last strip over there. What is this color? Red. It's red. Great work. Now color it in red. Oh, is this look like friends? Yes. Excellent. Then move to the next country. China. Oh, student, this one we are going to color the flag of China. Say with me, China. Your turn. China. Great work. Oh, look at the small flag over there. So the background of this flag is in red. Red. All right, now color it in red. All right, wow. And then look at our stars over there. Teacher have five stars over there. We are going to color part of star in yellow. Yellow. Oh, let's find out yellow. Which one is yellow? Oh, over there. And then color in our stars. Five of them. Oh, now they are all in yellows. And then look at this flag. Is this for China? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Very nice. Now let's move to the next one. UK. Oh wow, this part of our flag, we are going to color this flag for UK. Say with me, UK, your turn. UK. UK, yes, and the flag of UK is look like this. So we have to use three color of them, red, blue, and white. Now let's color it together. Oh, look at the center one. This one is for red. red. And then color it. Oh, wow. And then another color of this flag we are going to use with dark blue. Dark blue. Very nice. Then let's color it. Wow. Is this look like the UK? Yes. Yes. Great work, everyone. USA. So now, wow. Students. This part, we are going to color the flag of the... USA. Say with me, USA, your turn. USA. Great work. So the flag of the USA. Now we have the strip, red and white, red and white like this. Now let's color it. Oh, now we have white already. Let's color it red. Oh, look. Now this you got this one. Is this look like our example? Yes. Yes. And then move to part of this square over there. The small square inside this flag. The background is would be dark blue. Dark blue. Now let's color it in dark blue. And what about the star? 30, 33 stars over there. It would be in White. white oh now it's white already and is this look like usa yes yes great work the next country is kenya oh now it's our large one student and this time we are going to color the flag of kenya say with me kenya your turn kenya oh wow the flag of kenya we are going to use now teacher have Five strip over there. So the first strip we are the big one. We are going to color it in black. Black, very nice. And then the small one we are going to color it in white. White. Oh wow, it's white already. And what about another one? This strip is would be in 
Red. Red. Find out red. Red and then color it. Oh wow! And then the small one again. It would be white. And now it's white already. Move to the last strip over there. It would be mm, green. Now let's find out green. And then color with this part. Oh, what about this one over there? In the middle of our flag, we are going to color it in red and black. Now, let's begin with red first with this part. And then two sides of this one. Let's color it in black. Black. Oh, wow. Is this look like Kenya? Yes. Very nice. Now we got the flags of Kenya already. Excellent, everyone. All right, now it's end up with part of color the flags. Good on you. So now we move to the next part, student. And this part, we are going to do our exercise together. So now please bring your student book or your worksheet beside you. And then everyone, please open it on page 14 and 15. Oh, page 14 and 15 is look like this. You will see a lot of flags over there. Wow, and a lot of cartoon over there too. Student book. What is your national flag? <laughs> Connect and trace the word. All right, this part of our exercise we call what is your national flags? Oh, we are going to find out the national flags. And then we are going to connect with the right picture. After that, we are going to trust the words too. So now, student, we are going to trust the words first. Now, let's find out your pencil, everyone. Oh, let's find out your pencil. And then, let's look at this one we call. Brazil. Oh, Brazil, student. Let's trace this word Brazil. So, Brazil is begin with letter Big B. Big B, all right. Now, let's write down Big B. And then it's followed by letter R. R. Come here, A. A. And then Z. Z. Next one. I. Letter I. And then the last one is letter L. L. All right, you have to trust the words. Now we got this one Brazil already. Move to, oh, look at the red flag over there. This one we call, listen. China. China. Oh, student, now let's trust our word. So, China is begin with letter? Big C. Big C. And then? H. H. Next one. I. I. Next one is? N. N. A. A. Great work. Oh, now we got China. Have you finished with the... This flag, the red one. Yes. Keep going to the next flag over there. So, this flag is for... Kenya. Kenya. All right, student. Now, let's trust our word Kenya. So, it begins with letter... BK. BK. And then... E. Next one is... N. N. And y. then Y. And the last one. A. A. Great work. Oh, now we got Kenya. All right, keep going to the next one. Look at this flag. What is that? USA. USA. Great work. USA. Yes, this one is USA. Now, student, let's trust this word. USA is begin with big U. Because big U, this transfer, united. And then... We have to write down dot here. Okay. And then coming up next with big, big S. S. So big S, this one is transfer state. Now let's write down big S. And then dot again. Write down dot. And then next one is later big A. All right, now let's write down big A. So, student, this big A is for America. And then write down full stop here. 
Oh, now we got USA already. So the USA is for the United States of America. This is the full name of USA. All right, now let's move to the next flag over there. Oh, the white one over there. This one is for Japan. Japan. All right, student. Now let's write down this word. Japan is begin with letter Big J. Big J. Great word. Next one is letter A. A. And next one is P. P. Coming up next with A. And the last one is letter N. N. Great work. Oh, now we got Japan already. Let's move to the next one. Oh, this flag is for France. Friends, now let's write down this word friends. Let's trust this one together. So friends is begin with letter Big F. Big F and then R. Letter R. Next one is letter A. A. And the next one is letter N. N. Next one. Let's see. And the last one is letter E. e. Alright, now we got this one. Friends. Have you finished with part of trust the words? All right, good job. Now let's move to the next part. So this time we are going to match our flags to the right pictures. Oh wow, let's look at this one. Brazil. Brazil, student, can you remember? Look at our dolls over there. Who is from Brazil? Who come from Brazil? Monita. Monita, are you sure? Yes. Yes, now let's connect our flag of Brazil to Monita. Hola, I'm from Brazil. Ah, yes. Mm. So, Monita, she say, listen. Oh, repeat after me. Hola, I'm from Brazil. Your turn. Hola, I'm from Brazil. Yes, it is. Monita, she's from Brazil. Now look at the next one. Oh, this one is China. China. Yes, and back to you again. Let's find out who's come from China. Tintin. Oh, Tintin over there. Now let's match, match this red flag to Tintin. Ni hao, I'm from China. Yeah, Tintin is from China. Now let's repeat this sentence. Say with me. Ni hao, your turn. Ni hao, I'm from China. Your turn. I'm from China. Very nice. All right, now keep going. We move to the next one. And this flag is for? Kenya. Kenya. Still then, who is from Kenya? Tuti. Mm, oh, Tuti. All right, now let's match this flag to Tuti over there. Jumbo, I'm from Kenya. Yes, it is. Tuti is from Kenya. Now say with me. Jumbo, your turn. Jumbo. I'm from Kenya. Your turn. I'm from Kenya. Very nice. All right, now let's move to the next flag student. This one is USA. USA. So, student, can you remember from our story? Oh, who's from USA? Andrew? No. no. What about James? Yes. Ah, all right. Now let's match this flag to James. Hello, I'm from the USA. Yes, it is. James, he is from the USA. Now say it with me. Hello, your turn. Hello. I'm from the USA. Your turn. I'm from the USA. Very nice. So now we move to the next flag. This one is Japan. Japan. Oh wow. Let's find out who is from Japan. The girl who is wearing kimono. Is she from Japan? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, she sure. Yes. All right. Now let's match this flag to the girl over there. Konnichiwa. I'm from Japan. Ah, mm -hmm. great work. So say with me, everyone. Konnichiwa. Your turn. Konnichiwa. I'm from Japan. Your turn. I'm from Japan. Very nice. So now we move to our last flag. So this one is... France. France. Who's from France? See you then. Oh, the boy over there. Is he from France? Yes. Now let's match. Oh, no. I'm from France. Ah, oh, yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Now say with me, everyone. 
Bonjour, I'm from France. Bonjour, you're Italian. Bonjour, I'm from France. You're Italian. I'm from France. Very nice, dear Dan. All right, now have you finished with this part of our exercise? Yes. Very nice. Now let's move to the next part, dear Dan. Where are you from, penguin? <laughs> Put on the right stickers. Oh, student, and this part of our exercise we call Where are you from, Penguin? Now, student, please open your student book on page 20. Oh, page 20, it looks like this. And then this part of our activity, student, we are going to use these stickers. Three of them. The polar bear, the penguin, and the gorilla. Now let's take it out your stickers, three of them. And then let's practice our activities together. Let's begin with this I'm one. from the Arctic. The Arctic is really cold. Oh, let's look at the pink one. And then guess what, student? This one she says. I'm from the Arctic. The Arctic is really cold. Say with me. I'm from the Arctic. Your turn. I'm from the Arctic. The Arctic is really cold. Your turn. The Arctic is really cold. Oh, she's from the Arctic. And the Arctic is really, really cold. Now, student, let's find out the right animal that lives in the Arctic. So, which one does live in the Arctic? Look at this pink shadow. Mm, guess what? Is this gorilla? No. Oh no. The Arctic is really cold. So is this polar bear? Yes, it is. Oh, are you sure? Yes. Now let's choose polar bear. Polar bear. Super. Oh, wow, super. Polar bear. Yes, it's polar bear. Oh, this one we call polar bear. Say with me, polar bear. Your turn. Polar bear. Very nice. And the polar bear is live in. The Arctic. The Arctic. Your turn. The Arctic. Very nice. All right. Have you finished with this part of put on the right sticker? Yes. Keep going to the next one. Oh, and then listen to our sentence. I'm from the equator. The equator is hot. All right. Now let's practice with this sentence. I'm from the equator. The equator is hot. Repeat after me. I'm from the equator. Your turn. I'm from the, the equator. The equator is hot. Your turn. The equator is hot. Oh, excellent. And this part of the animal is say is from the equator, student. Let's find out which one does live in the equator. Is this penguin? No, it's oh, not. Oh, it's really, really hot. It's not penguin. Then what about the Gorilla? Is this gorilla? Yes, it is. Oh, if you say yes, now let's choose this part of gorilla. Gorilla. And then, good, good work. work. Gorilla. Yes, it's gorilla. Then, student, let's put on the right sticker over there. And this animal we call? Gorilla. Say with me, gorilla. Your turn. G gorilla. And the gorilla is live in the... The equator. The equator. Your turn. The equator. Very nice. So gorilla is live in the equator. And in the equator, it's hot. Excellent students. Then we move to the last one. I'm from the Antarctica. The Antarctica is very cold. Oh, all right. Now let's practice with our sentences. This part is say. I'm from the Antarctica. The Antarctica is very cold. Repeat after me. I'm from the Antarctica. Your turn. I'm from the Antarctica. The Antarctica is very cold. Your turn. The Antarctica is very cold. Very nice. So, oh, this animal is said is from the Antarctica, everyone. Oh, let's find out the right animal that live in the Antarctica. Guess what? Penguin. Penguin. All right, now let's check out with penguin. Penguin. Yes. Penguin. It's penguin. It lives in the Antarctica. 
Now let's practice with this word. Penguin. Penguin. You turn penguin. And penguin live in the the Antarctica. The Antarctica. You turn the Antarctica. Oh, very nice. Penguin is live in the Antarctica and the Antarctica is very cold. Oh, you can see the ice over there. All right, now it's end up with this part of put on the right sticker. Very nice. Then let's open your student book on page 21, student. Inference. Inference. <laughs> Tom and Jenny are going on a trip. Write T or J to tell in which suitcase the thing might be found. I will go to Alaska. I will go to Hawaii. Oh, student, this part of our tip activities. Let's look at Tom. Tom is over there. And now we have Tom and the girl, she is Jenny. So now they are going on their trip. Oh, wow, they're going on their vacation. And let's focus with Tom, student. So Tom, he says, I will go to Alaska. Repeat after me. I will go to Alaska. Your turn. I will go to Alaska. Oh, very nice. So Tom, he will go to Alaska. And student, the Alaska is really cold. So this time, we are going to write T with the blank which the item that might be found in Tom Sue's case. All right, let's find out what kind of things that he will carry on with him to Alaska. Oh, let's check it out one by one, student. A ball. Oh. Ball. Oh, Tom, he go to Alaska. He would carry on a ball. Is this match to Tom? No. Oh, no. And what about the next one? Boots. Boots. He would found the boots in his suit's kit. Yes. Yes, it is. He would carry on some boots to Alaska. Then, student, let's write down letter T's for Tom like this. Oh, write down letter T over there. And then let's find out the next items that Tom would carry on with him. It would be... Sunglasses. Sunglasses, is it? No, it's oh, not. Oh, no, it's not. And what about this one? Coat. The coat. He would carry on the coat in his suitcase. Is it the coat? Yes. Yes, excellent. Now let's write down letter T for the pictures of coat. Ah, excellent, everyone. Now let's check out with the next item over there. This one is? Glove. Gloves. Oh, student Tom, he would carry on gloves. On his suitcase? Yes. Yes, he would pack this one in his suitcase. Now, like, write down letter T again. T is for Tom. And let's check out with the next item. Oh, this one. Bikini. Bikini. Oh, still then, Tom, he would carry on bikini with his suitcase? No. Oh, no. Alaska is really cold. He couldn't wearing a bikini. And then... What about the next one that we call? Muffler. Muffler. He will carry on this one? Yes. Yes. All right. Now write down letter T again. T is for Tom. And what about the next item over there? A beach umbrella. Oh, a beach umbrella. Tom, he will carry on a beach umbrella? No. Oh, no way. All right. Now write. Let's check it out with the next item that we call. Slippers. Oh, slippers, student. He would carry on this one, slippers. No. Oh, no. Oh, all right. Now we have checked it out with all of items that we have already. So, Tom's, he goes to Alaska and he will carry on boots, coats, gloves, and muffler. Yes, that's all for Tom. Then, let's check up with the girl. So, she is Jenny, student. And Jenny, listen carefully. I will go to Hawaii. Repeat after me. I will go to Hawaii. Your turn. I will go to Hawaii. Very nice. Oh, Jenny, she will go.
go to Hawaii on her vacation and then what kind of things that we might be found in her suitcase? Let's check out with this one. Ball. Oh. She was carry on a ball on, on, on her suitcase. Yes. Yes, she was carry on this one. Now let's write down letter J for Jenny on the blank of the square. Big J like this. Sorry. J like this and then let's check up with another thing oh this one bikini bikini oh student Janice she was carry on some bikinis is this for her yes yes all right now right now letter J again our J is for Jenny and what about the next item this one sunglasses oh sunglasses is this for Jenny Yes. Yes. Write down little J again. And the next item is slippers. Slippers. Is this for Jenny? Slipper. Yes. Yes. She was wearing slipper. Then write down little J. Oh, now we move to the last item. This one is a beach umbrella. A beach umbrella. So she would carry on this one on her suitcase. Yes. Yes. All right. Now write down little J for Jenny. Again, wow, now it's all with our items that we have. So, Jenny, she would carry on a ball, a sunglasses, bikini, slippers, and a beach umbrella. Oh, wow, that's all for Jenny. Have you finished with this part of our activity? Yes. Excellent students. All right, good on you, everyone. So now it's end up with part of our activities and then we are going to sing and dance students. Can you remember how to sing and dance with our songs? Yes. Right, now let's stand up, stand up. Let's sing and dance together with the first song that we call Hello Nihao Chavo. Thank you. 